All right, my name is Eric Phillips. Today we're going to be putting in a septic system. Um, I've already installed the tank. Um, it's behind me so that all the plumbing could be run. Um, now I'm coming back to put in the field lines. It's a 0904 HP Easy Flow is what product this is. As you can see, one side has a net and one side does not. The net side always goes up. Just keep the dirt out of the out of the uh, actual field lines. And uh, you can see there's four pipes. That's the difference between the HP and the regular 0904. Um, you hook to the same pipe every time. Today's system will be what you call a serial system. It will drop down to different levels. Um, a lot of people have the misconception that field lines run downhill. They do not. They're always level. So first thing you have to do is uh, shoot the grade of your land to see where you're going to dig your trench at. So I'm going to set the camera up and we're going to shoot the grade and uh, that way you can kind of see where we're going to do our first line and then I'll start digging. Alright, so behind me, you see where we just put the flags in? Um, we're going to get the first line dug, hook the first initial tie into the field line, and then I'll show you how to drop it down to a different line, and uh, we're going to get this dug out. This is what you call a shallow system. Um, before you actually start one, of course, you need permit from your local county or state. I don't, every, everywhere is different, but uh, ours is all done in each county. Um, and you have to know what depth to dig it at. This one is 12 to 20 inches, so it's actually a shallow system. So that means our bottom of our trench depth can only be 20 inches. So uh, we're going to dig it, hook it up, and then we'll drop it down to the next line. Alright, so this is your outlet in. Um, after you get the pipe in there, there's a rubber gasket on most tanks. Uh, get the pipe in, make sure it's tight around it. Hold on one second. And then uh, you put this, this goes in it with an extension pipe. And this is what they call your filter. This keeps stuff from getting in your field lines. It goes in like so inside the tank. And a lot of times when people have issues, if they don't have bad dirt, this is what it is. They put stuff in the system that shouldn't be there. But what it does is it saves your field lines. It's a lot cheaper to have to pull this out and rinse it off than to have to put two, three thousand dollar field lines back in. So um, we're going to keep going. I just wanted to show you that part. We're going to install this. It goes on your outlet end um, towards your field lines. So we're going to keep going. I just wanted to show you that part. And we'll keep going at it. All right. So for your next uh, main step is uh, verify that you have enough drop from your tank to your first field line. Um, I'm licensed in two, in two different states, Alabama and Georgia. This is Georgia. Georgia for a serial system, you have to have a 10 inch drop. So what you do is you take your pipe where it comes out, check it. This one is four foot nine. So then you go to your first line check the top of it and make sure you have at least 10 inches this is something you need to know before you set your tank of course but um, you always double verify you know once you get before you get going with all your field lines and have a problem so that's five foot eleven so that's uh 14 inches, so we're good. So we're gonna get going, start digging our field lines. Now that we know that's good, we can dig them all and then drop them down. That's just on your first line, you have to check that only. Okay, we've got the uh, first line to where I'm gonna drop it down at put in. Um, I just wanna show you this one part and then I'm going to uh, run some more lines, drop them down. But uh, what you do is you put a T, this is a a easy flow tee. Um, you put it in, you cut these off so your four inch pipe will fit down over it. 
Uh, and then what you'll do is it'll bend over, and I'll show you this part in a minute. But this is a 22 and a half coupling. Um, it will go on it. This is the easiest way I've found to do it. A lot of people use a bunch of different couplings and drop, but it just takes a little practice. But once you learn how to judge your distance, you can just use this one coupling to drop it down, and it'll work every time. Uh, what you connect the product with is just the Easy Flow coupling. They simply push in, snap in, and like I said, on this product, just make sure you hook to the right line every time because it's one of the few products that have multiple pipes. There's multi-pipe, but um, in this particular product, there's four different pipes, so just make sure you keep hooking to the right one. And uh, so I'm going to dig your drop down. We're going to go to the next line. In Georgia, it's uh, seven foot on center, so that's how far our trenches have to be apart. So we're going to go ahead and dig it, and I'll show you how to drop it down and uh, what you have to do there. Alright, on this first to second line, um, I decided to go ahead and do it level. So I'll show you the serial drop down next line. Uh, the reason you'd want to do that is how a serial system works is um, whatever's on that level has to fill completely up before dropping down to the next level. So the more line you have on that level, the better your system will work because it doesn't have to fill up, drop, fill, drop, fill, drop. So. Um, we're going to wind up with like 180 feet on these two lines. So uh, then they'll drop down every line from there out. But uh, I'll show you the actual drop down next line. But I uh, just wanted to show you that, you know, this one's going to be level. Same exact thing. Um, the difference is you don't have to have a mound in between a level and a serial. So this pipe will lay straight down, hook straight to another T, and that's it. Um, but I'll, I'll keep going and show you the next drop down. All right, this is going to be our third line here at the bottom. What you can see now is the second line. We're going to do what they call a serial drop on this one. It's where your trench depths change. Um, this one's a lot lower than that one, due to the, the land dropping down as we go. And field lines have to be level, so you have to drop your trench depth down as you go. Um, line one and two are on the same depth, so they're just hooked together. But I'll show you you know what needs to be done um, first off we're going to shoot the top of the product um, with the laser and then we're going to shoot this uh, dirt mound you see there it has to be undisturbed dirt means you have to you know get it close and then dig it with a shovel so we're going to shoot both of them and see where we're at and then we're going to go from there all right so we're going to take the laser we're going to shoot the top of this product and then drop the top of this ditch if you're not done with your laser on your trench you're on, be sure to remember the number it's on so you can set it back.
All right, so you can see that uh, it's both right here is our point. So what we're going to do is make that the very tip, and uh, we're going to shave it down with a shovel on both sides. Sorry about that. We're going to shave it down on both sides so that we can have our fit and sit here and drop down to our product. All right, so behind me, you see it. Um, like I said, as long as you dig in the right spot, as far as this way and that way, that fit will work every time. It's the, by far the easiest way I've found to do it. Um, I mean, I've seen it done a bunch of ways. Two, three different fittings trying to drop down. And besides the cost expense, it's aggravating trying to do. But uh, if you dig in the right spot every time, it'll work out. So what we'll do now is we'll put some screws in in the ends both ends the other one also will get screws and uh that way they don't separate because if this separates out you lose this this line and then every line after that so uh i'm gonna get digging the rest of it i'm just trying to make this film as short as possible um and show you the highlights if there's something else you want to know be more than happy to answer them just comment um, so we're going to get to digging the rest of the lines and then hopefully I can get the inspector to give us a quick tip. Okay, um, we've got everything inspected. Um, I'm going to let my inspector talk to you for a minute. Just give you maybe some advice that can help you. Um, if you're looking to buy a place or looking to buy a home or looking to hire somebody to fix something. Um, to give you the what they can tell you, what they can't tell you. Um, you know, just to kind of yeah. helpful information, I should say. All right. Um, if you are a new homeowner or looking to buy property, the first thing you need to do is, of course, put an application in for um, a new septic system in your local county health department. Once you've done that, you also need a soil survey. So you would get that from a soil scientist. On the Georgia Department of Public Health website, it lists soil classifiers that are qualified in the state of Georgia to do land surveys for you. So once you've done that, that soil survey lets the health inspector know or someone at the health department know what the, the actual soil looks like in that area or on your property. It lets us know how the water can perk through the soil and any other helpful information we may need. And as far as, far as finding installers, we also have a list of installers or qualified installers on that same website, the Georgia Department of Public Health. Um, any installer that's certified in your area, I would advise you to just do a simple Google search. Google search that installer, go over the reviews, see what the reviews say. Nine times out of 10, the review, reviews are correct. So just go over that, make a couple phone calls, or of course, Anyone that you may know that may refer somebody to you as well. Because you as an employee, you cannot refer. I cannot, we cannot refer anyone to anybody. Yeah. So that's why I say just do a Google search on people that you're thinking about using. And then that way you can see all of those reviews that are, that may be a little bit more helpful from that scope. And I can tell you, you do get them calls a lot. All the time. Because <laughs> you did that like on the first take. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, um. And that, and that is very good information to know. So, mm -hmm. and, and the reason we point, she pointing that out is if you call and ask your health department or inspectors, mm -hmm. who would you use? They can't tell you legally. So, um, I mean, there's, there's no way you can ask people in the area, Absolutely. Um, Absolutely. you know, or maybe word it in such a way where they don't have to answer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that would be Again, my thought. Again, Google search who's certified <laughs> in your area. And then see what people have actually said about that particular business as well as installer. Um, I've had a lot of people do that and they've made the correct decision and okay. correct choice. And they're happy with their systems that were put in. Mm -hmm. So that's why I strongly advise that. Um, also, you can also get a topography map done on your land if you're thinking about purchasing land. That's right. yeah. And that just lets you know um, <clears throat> if there's um, any easements or ravines or anything that's on that property that would deem that property not worth purchasing. That's right. Because so, this, this one actually only had this area here. That was usable soil. That's right. Mm -hmm. and because right behind us there is a huge ravine and you have to be mm -hmm. so many feet off of it. And that end over there, the dirt's no good. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you could act very quickly run into a bad scenario. Absolutely. Absolutely. So all, things, all those things really have to be considered when you're purchasing land 
are planning to build a home or put a system in on that property. All right. Well, I just want to thank you, and um, you can check it out when we get no it posted. Problem. <laughs> <laughs> but um, we'll see you next time. I don't know what we'll be doing next. Maybe some clearing or something. Not sure, but um, I sure appreciate your no your insight on everything. No problem at all. Y'all have a good one.